Welcome my Canva superheroes. So today we are going to learn how to do a comic book uh, frame, I guess you could call it, an overlay. Uh, yeah, a frame. A frame is what it is because, I mean, you can use it for multiple things. So there's two ways you can do it. You can either make the frame first and then make sure whatever photo or video you use behind it actually fits in the center part that you have mapped out. Or you can uh, use the photo first. We'll use the photo first today and kind of build around that. So the, the thing I did with the um, tongue tied this morning, y'all, um, is go into my edit image and go into paint effects and I use this retracto um, and I use that to kind of make it look comic booky. So I thought that that was a really cool effect to kind of make it look comic booky. So that was the first thing you can do. Last thing you can do, whatever order you really want to do it in. And then what you want to do is start building out your frame. So to build out your frame, you're going to just need a few things. You're going to want to line, um, you want to thicken it up, not too thick, but just enough to make a nice border. So what we're going to do, oops, I don't want to move that picture at the moment. We want to kind of keep that there because that's going to be our outline. Come on, let's move this. And then what you want to start doing is laying out your, I guess, I don't know comic book terms are these like little bubbles, little speech sections, frames in, in a comic book. Uh, let me know in the comment, you comic book people that know better than I do. I do own some comic books, but they're all sealed and put away. I just never went full comic booky. So... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start framing this out. So what I want to do is start looking at how I want to do my frame here and just keep working on the different aspects of how I want my, my frame to look, how many little sections I might want, those kinds of things, and start working that out. We can always adjust the picture size later if we need to, make it bigger or smaller according to our thing. So I'm going to work on this frame right now and then I'll come back. All right, so now we got the base of our frame. You can make it any kind of way you want to. Your arrow keys are going to be your best friend with this. Um, I always have a little problem with lines. They're so, like, you touch one and it goes freaking wild on here or it wants to attach to a weird point. So sometimes it's it can be a little monotonous messing with lines ever since they added. It's helpful to some degree with the little point things. Uh, you know, it attached to a point to some, to sometimes it's just like absolutely feels to me anyway, it feels like it's absolutely out of control and it's just like spinning around and I can't really get to it. So that is the little perturbing part about that. 
So the next thing we're going to need now is we're going to have to fill our frames. So we have our frames on the outside. So what I did for colors, and if anybody knows me, they know where I'm going. I use my black gradient rectangles for that. So what I did with those is I used that and I used duo tone. So that's how I got my colors. So I'd go in a duo tone and what I would do here. Now you're also going to need like white squares and that's to cover and that's just to cover stuff. So once you get your colors, let's see, I want a dusky purple up here. So I'm going to go into here and then I'm going to spin that around so it'll fill into my, into here. And if you need to make it bigger because you want a different, you want the color to kind of really pop out of there. And then what you can do is you can just crop it down and get it to, but you want to make sure that it's inside that square. And then we'll do another one. We'll duplicate that one. And then we'll go pick another color. So while I'm picking my colors up and lining them up, I'll be right back. Okay, now that I've got all my colors in place, I'm sorry if I just got real loud. I kind of scooted up a little bit. And I'm sorry if you hear this weird sound in the background. My German Shepherd over there is just snoring his took us off. So if you hear those things, I apologize. It's cute, but you know. So now we want to get this like up bigger. So now we got our colors going, but you can see like our colors over here. And even if we put it behind, there's a... So here is where your little white squares are going to come into place. So let's go in here and we're going to pick our square. So what I want to do now we got, when I made this, we did not have layers. So, so we want all these, let's move them. We want them all back behind here. So let's move them all back behind. Here, let me get them all down here and put them in the back. Do, 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 do. So while we have a minute while I'm moving this, if you would kindly subscribe if you like this kind of content. And if you are enjoying this video in the slightest, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, I would greatly appreciate that. And I'm hoping you kind of like kind of the weird things I create and want to share with you guys. So now that I've got everything kind of behind there, what I want to do is go in here and get, turn these white. And what I want to do is make me squares that I can go and kind of, let's, let's do it this cheap way because, and then we're going to, Send, bring this to front for the moment so we can see. And then what I want to do is get this the right amount of in there to cover my lines up. And then we can, like, this one is pretty smooth right here. So all I really want to do is cover here. But you can go all the way across right here. And then I'll duplicate that and kind of do it in other areas here. So do it here. We need to clean that up. Duplicate over here to clean this one up. Uh, 
I'm going to just put a couple down here just in case we need them for other things. We probably will, but if you do, just put them all behind here over here and then you'll bring and then your lines will come up front so we can now with this beautiful position tab I can do it where I want to put that stuff in between here in between these so we want them in between our lines ingredients and you see how that cleaned that up right there oh I need another one right there so let's spin that around a little bit Let's duplicate it just in case we need another one so at some point and then what we're going to do is move that baby over here move it up and then what we'll do is move it behind the black lines so you want to move it down here you want to move them all down here well, I don't want to move that one because that one's my extra. So we move them all down here. So now you see your lines are on top, and that makes that clean. This is my spare one, just in case we need it. But that makes that all clean. And then what you want to do with your picture is take that, make it the size you want to, or your video. And then what you want to do is just, we'll do that easy for easy purposes, is... It should go to back. Or it doesn't look like it is, but it should be in the back. Which, as you can see, more white is needed to, for that. Or you can slim him down into other areas. So... Anything that's shining through, you're going to want to put up. You're going to want to put one of these white lines. Why is it not grabbing my white line? Come on, baby. Come on. And you're going to want to put a white line. Or if, he sh if your picture or video is shining through. Or you can just automatically make the white lines to go with this. Um, just for safety purposes and kind of fill that out. And then if you need to stretch it out like this to cover and then you'll go into position and you want to make sure that is just behind your black lines and not hmm I want my gradient in front of it though so what gradient do we have over here these no we'll undo not that color. What is this color? Um, do I need to put that in front of it? There we go. Nope, that didn't work. Hold on. I have an issue here. See? I screw up in real time. Okay, let's go back here. Oh, mercy, what in the world? Okay, hold on. So, I want this, I want this here. And then we're going to pull that down like so. One, two, three, four. Let's get you a little over here. Hold on. Come on, Grady. Come on over a little bit. Where does that line need to go over a little bit? I see white. And then what we'll do is pull this, up, pull this one back a little teeny bit. Go down a little teeny bit. There we go. Okay. So I see that right there. So I want to cover that with a white box. So.
And there we go. We clean that up. So now that that's clean, put that down just a smidge. Now that that's clean, all you have to do is put in your little fluff. So I just put in here. I went into comic book, or if I can spell it right, comic book. That's characters. Uh, and then what I did was stick, I, I don't have, but the free version. So I just, you know, you just go in here and find whatever you can. If you have pro, of course, you're going to get, be able to get anything. And I guess it's okay. You just put something like that in the, in the corner and we'll just do random ones. Even though I don't have pro, if you can see, here's the thing, but, uh, Let's see, cartoon. Let's see what we got. Um, these are kind of more on the child side stuff, but you you see what I'm saying. I'm just, you know, you want to put something like that down there, or like rocket over here, or I'm sure you can put in more keywords to find out better looking things to put in there than those. But and then also, if you want to do your text. Let's go in here. Um, you want to use this right here for your box, the comic strip bubble illustration. And you want to use that for your um, text. And for my text that I put in there, put I used, get your little honey parts in there. I used this A, where is it? A N A N I A S, and that gives you the comic book feel for your text. So, with that being said, that is your comic book frame. And then, what you can do is if you need to do something else, you can trash that, and now you have your frame and you can change up your pictures. You can also go. Let's go on my uploads and do something like I did before. Let's do my videos. Let's go into doggy video. And then, you know, you have your, your puppies in there if you want to do them as super areas. It's whatever you want to do. And like I said, if you do that and you're doing a full thing, you're going to want to put like white boxes in here to kind of mass that out or if you kind of like that little bit if it's light enough on the ends and you like that some just fade that down you know or if it's covered enough and you really don't care but that's how you do a little comic book frame i hope you enjoy, enjoyed this tutorial i know i got a little long there in the tooth at some points but it is a little bit of an intricate design to try to do so i appreciate create ugh, excuse me I appreciate y'all sticking around and I hope y'all learned a little something. Um, much love. Come back sometime. Hopefully I didn't run you off. And kisses and love you guys. See y'all on the next one.